Have you ever created an awesome Google Sheet that you have shared with your team only to have it ruined by your editors? They've accidentally deleted the top left-hand cell header, they've deleted out a formula, and then covered it up with just some values they've calculated in their head. They've started editing one of your display sheet tabs, removing all your reference formulas because that's what they thought they were meant to do. It can be pretty frustrating, but it can be equally frustrating for your users who might not be as savvy as you or embarrassed they messed something up and are too ashamed to let you know. The best bet is for you to control what is entered where in your Google Sheets. Google Sheets can help us here by allowing us to protect cells, ranges, and sheets. Before we crack on, stay until the end uh, and I'll give you a little known tip uh, that will give you an edge with protecting cells and ranges. So let's get cracking. Let's have a look at our Google Sheet. First, we've got a set of headers. Now, of course, we don't want our team to be editing those. What we can do is click on A1 and hold down the shift button and click uh, to G1 and select the range. Then we can go to go to data and down here it says protect sheets and ranges. Click on that and a little sidebar will open up. Now we can give it a description. We'll give it the description header. The next step is to set permissions. A pop-up window will appear and then we'll have a list of our current users who are editors. So as you can see here, we've got Mrs. Yagi and we've got the Yagi work group. Okay, because it's our header and we don't want it to ever change, we will remove Mrs. Yagi and the work group as editors of that range. So clicking it off and select done. Cool. So now let me flip over to Mrs. Yagi's account and you can see if she tries to edit the header range now, she won't be able to. So let's click on that cell and she might accidentally hit enter to delete it out and now the pop-up appears. There was a problem. You're trying to edit a protected cell or object. Please contact the spreadsheet owner to remove protection if you need to edit. Cool, bananas. All right, so let's move back to my account, Yagi. And here we go. As you can see up the top right hand corner, this is me. Cool, let's close the sidebar. So the only thing we need our users to edit is the column F here. So we're up to April of 2021 here. And they'll be editing in their actual monthly income. What we can do is protect the entire column of data. So we'll need to protect A, B, C, D, E, and G. So let's select A to E first. Now you can select a range from A to E, but you can't select uh, split ranges. So for example, A to E plus G, okay? So this time around, instead of hitting data, we can hit right click and scroll down to the bottom and you can see protect range. Click on that. You don't have to have a description. Describe this as auto gen data one because all this is automatically generated and we'll set permissions. Now, Mrs. Yagi is one of our editors, so we'll keep her in the loop here, but we'll remove everyone else from the Yagi work group. Now, an important thing to note is that Mrs. Yagi is also a member of the Yagi work group and so am I. However, if we put the individual person in there and they still have edit permission for that cell, then that is a priority. But everyone else in that group will not be able to edit that cell or range. We can also add other editors to the group if we haven't added them already and we can enter their email details or names in here. Okay, so let's get rid of the Yagi work group and click done. And let's close the sidebar again. Now, you can see here column G, we don't want anyone to edit that one because that just gives an indication of whether there was an increase compared to the uh, total estimated monthly income or not. Also, you can see these column H, I, and J, K. Now, a lot of users like to use extra columns for adding notes that they think are important but aren't. So they might add things into these column H's, I, J, K, and that may, may affect your data down the track. So what we're going to do is protect all those ranges as well. So first I'm going to click column G, and this time around I'm going to hit Control, Shift, and arrow to the right to select the entire range across to the right. Okay, so let's go to data this time, just for something different, and we'll go to protect sheets and ranges, and let's call this auto gen data two. And set permissions. Now we don't want anyone to edit this, so we can get rid of all our users here. Cool. All right, so we've protected all the cells now that need to be protected. 
The only thing that our editors will be able to edit is this cell here, this column F, except for our other uh, core editor, which is Mrs. Yagi, who will be able to edit the cells from A2 all the way across to F and down to the bottom. Let's have a look at the sidebar now. Over to the right hand side, you can see that we've got a list of all the protected sheets and ranges that have been protected. So at the top here, we've got that auto gen data one, which is AE and the protection for columns G to Z and then the header protection as well. Now you can always edit these. So for example, in our first one, maybe we want to, we want to remove Mrs. Yagi as an editor here. So we can go in and click change permissions and then remove her, click done and select done. You can also change the title of the protected range or just leave it out or we can update the range as well. Once we're done, we click done and it returns back to this menu. Another thing that you might want to look at as well is to protect an entire sheet tab. So over here we've got our results sheet tab and we've got our notes sheet tab. Now we don't want any of our users editing any of the data within the sheet. So what we can do is go here and use this little drop down menu and select protect sheet and we can say we can call it results or we can actually let's just leave it blank because it will have results there anyway and we can set our permissions and remove everyone but me so all our users can do now is view this and you can note down the bottom here that there's a little padlock button and that indicates that the entire sheet tab has been protected now again we've got a note section our note section we might have references to uh, file ids or, or other pieces of information that we're drawing into this sheet or just notes for yourself or how you're handling the administration of this google sheet so we don't want our users to be editing this so what we can do again is this time around we can hit the right click and protect sheet and set permissions and remove all our editors except for me Cool. So now that we've protected two sheet tabs and done some protecting within the sheet, you can click on each tab and you can see what's being protected. So if I click on, uh, on the protection sheet tab, you can see what rows and columns have been protected. Results, you can see the entire tabs been protected. Or notes, you can see the entire tab. You can also show all protected ranges by clicking here and that will give you all the protected ranges for all sheet tabs in the entire Google Sheets workbook. And now for the hot tip before we go. Have you ever wondered how to hide a sheet tab and make sure your editors aren't able to unhide it and see what's going on inside? Well, you're in the right place. What you can do is this. As you can see, we have locked the notes sheet tab and I'm the only person that can access it. So now if I hide the sheet tab, so if I click this down arrow or right click and hit hide sheets and I go into Mrs. Yagi's account and she tries to unhide it, it comes up with a warning. That means that she can't unhide it and view what's going on within that sheet. You can also do the same thing with hidden rows and columns if you protect them at the same time. Okay, so that's it for protecting cells, ranges and sheet tabs in Google Sheets. If you liked the tutorial, hit the like button. And if you want to see some more, why not subscribe? I'll catch you in the next tutorial.